Europe is opening to travel and tourism. After second and third lockdowns, and vaccination drives, countries in the EU are seeing a drop in coronavirus infections. This is leading to countries to start opening their travel and tourism markets to travelers. Belgium, Switzerland and Denmark are the latest three countries opening to travelers. In this video, we look at the three Schengen countries that are opening its borders once more. We discuss the easing of lockdowns, and when you can expect to travel again, as well as what you need to do to travel again. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. More than a year into the pandemic, countries have imposed restrictions to mitigate the spread of the virus. Finally, some nations have announced restrictions will be relaxed. The decision comes as COVID-19 cases continue to decrease. Hopefully, this would be a start of slowly going back to how things were pre-pandemic, and more nations will be able to control the health situation. Here is a list of countries that announced that restrictions will be lifted. Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo made the announcement at a news conference in Brussels, following a seven-hour meeting with regional leaders who struggled to find a compromise. We saw that the number of infections has clearly decreased during the last weeks, we saw that the reproduction rate is under one, and we see that the hospitalization rate starts to decrease too, de Croo said. Bars and restaurants have been shut down since mid-October because of the pandemic, but their owners have been lobbying to reopen and protesting in recent weeks. Barring a new surge in cases, de Croo said they will be authorized to reopen their terraces from the 8th of May, but customers won't be served indoors. De Croo said ministers would launch, along with local authorities, the possibility to start scientific experiments and test projects in order to find the best and the safest way to organize events. One cannot be blind in front of the situation that is facing healthcare services, but one cannot be deaf when people are asking for prospects, de Croo said. De Croo also said he hopes on the 8th of May, two people from the same household will be able to socialize inside. The number of new coronavirus infections has dropped 19% over the past seven days, and de Croo said a peak might have been reached. But the situation in hospitals remains critical. Belgium will also lift a ban on non-essential travel abroad from the 18th of April, but the government continues to advise against such trips. After a three-week shutdown that covered the Easter holidays, schools will open again on the 19th of April, but some classes will be organized remotely. Non-essential shop owners will be allowed to welcome customers without appointments from the 26th of April, when hair salons and tattoo shops can reopen. Tests will also be conducted in order to find possible solutions to organize outdoor events over the summer. A further easing of lockdown is expected in June, when a large majority of people aged over 65 will have been vaccinated. Switzerland announced it was easing measures despite the fact the pandemic is getting worse in the country. From the 19th of April, it will again be possible to organize events open to the public, indoor sports and cultural activities will be permitted, and restaurants will be able to reopen their terraces, the Federal Council said in a statement, following a broad campaign by the sectors most affected by the pandemic to reopen the economy. 
The daily infection rate is roughly equivalent to that in Italy and Germany, but is below the EU average and three times lower than in France. The epidemiological situation remains fragile and has even deteriorated in recent weeks, notes the Council, which also acknowledges that it is still too early to measure the exact impact of the Easter holidays on the dynamics of the pandemic in the Alpine country. Despite this situation, the Federal Council believes that the conditions allow for a moderate relaxation, the statement said. Alain Besset, the health minister, said that it was the responsible attitude of the vast majority of Swiss people that allowed the gradual reopening of the market. We have been able to keep the pandemic under control, said the federal councillor, who noted that the very partial reopenings decided in March have not caused a massive increase in infections, allowing the movement to continue. The government believes that the vaccination campaign is progressing well, and moreover the increase in hospital admissions remains relatively low, and the occupancy rate of intensive care units stable. Switzerland has one of the highest rates of complete vaccination in Europe. Denmark will gradually relax rules on traveling abroad, aiming to allow European travelers to move around without quarantine from the end of June. Adopted by a near majority of the parties in Parliament, the plan provides for four stages between the 21st of April and the end of June, with the gradual lifting of compulsory quarantine depending on the destination. However, a negative test remains a prerequisite for entry into the country. The plan only applies to travel to and from countries in the EU and Schengen zone. That means restrictions for third countries outside of the EU and Schengen area will follow the common approach adopted by the EU, which is expected to be renegotiated prior to the summer. As such, people who live in the United Kingdom, as well as the United States, will continue to be subject to tight travel rules as Denmark lifts restrictions on European travel, despite the relatively advanced stage of vaccination programs in both the UK and the US. The agreement provides for travel restrictions to be updated weekly, based on local situations with the virus in individual countries and regions in the EU and Schengen area. It depends in part on the progress of the vaccination campaign, currently slowed down by the halting of the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine, and on the introduction of the European Health Passport, scheduled for around the 26th of June. The introduction of Corona passports in the EU will make it possible to organize summer holidays in Europe and to receive summer tourists in Denmark, provided that you can present documents proving that you have either tested negative, been vaccinated, or have already been ill, the agreement said. Are you excited to travel again? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates. Thank you.